talk about animation nodes, um, little nodes, but really, really powerful called expression node. Uh, before I jump into expression node and then making some kind of uh, just a bunch of simple procedural animation, the first time I heard about expression is normally um, mentioned, uh, let's say you have like a box in the scene and then you want to kind of move the box using expression and someone might mention about this way you just put in a this like hashtag and then put in frame and then now the box will be controlled by a frame by a frame number so that's some people might call it expression but this thing is actually in blender is kind of like yes expression is also um, a driver it's become a driver so if you open up driver editor you can see the expression itself which is python python frame number and in which you can you can for example multiply by something multiply by 0 0.1 for example we'll make it slower okay and also if we go back and then if for the frame number we give it like a sign sign frame and then enter what's gonna happen is we have sine wave you can see here on the graph and that cube is now doing a sine wave the frame uh, this number itself the multiplier it's become the amplitude unless I put in the number inside the frame now it's kind of go back to the speed where we have and then with this guy becoming a multiplier the cool thing about about this trick um, you can also add input variable right the variable can be a value or can be um, can be something that you type yourself if I'm not wrong so it can be a text but um, oh the input variable needs to be an object okay so this is like this is something to do with a with a expression Python expression as a driver which is fascinating this is my first introduction for to procedural animations so we're gonna try to do similar thing so instead of driver I'm gonna delete this driver I will go into the nodes so I have the let me pause that I'll open animation nodes animation nodes is actually really really good at doing this kind of thing so if you want to normally you probably use something like this object transform output and then you en enable location XYZ for this cube because you want to control the cube now you can control it using nodes and parameter on um, and you can use combine vector because we want this three floating values into a single single port it's become a vector oops let me save this as an expression And I have explained in the past that you can use frame and then you can use math frame with multiplier multiply by 0 0.1 just like what we are doing earlier and then we want to maybe put this into a sine wave and we should get that kind of motion and if you have a cosine you get a circular motion this is actually the very basic of procedural animations or one of the best classic example um, another one is probably the, the bouncing boxes but we're gonna try to use expression note expression note so expression this is how you do it using notes which is the most visual the easiest as well um, 
but we al we also want we can try using expression to do this expression with expression you actually type type all the operation and calculations uh, let's try doing that so by default expression nodes looks really scary this thing is really yeah i found it quite scary because uh because you really can't do anything uh you can try like do um you, let's say you want to bring this box into the expression how do you do that with this guy with this node at least you can use the eyedropper this one um, you don't know how but for this before I do anything I will leave enable the enable the Python tools tooltips and developer extras by doing that um, with this with this box for example if you hover now you can see there's uh, this python object.location and the object itself is bby.data.objects cube with location zero that's the x and if i'm not wrong command option shift c will copy that path and then you can paste it now we have the our object which is accessible by looking into this data blocks and the location location x now this expression node is actually doing something if we move the box oh let me delete this if we move move the box you can see the the value is changing now this expression is becoming something that's outputting a value it's monitoring in real time and also outputting a value which is pretty cool now um, let's say if we want let's say we have a, a monkey and we put the monkey somewhere else let's say if we want to be more flexible with the with the object this object we want to make it a variable so let me try just change this into an object so I just click on this plus and then I create an input the input is becoming the objects and the objects should be the monkey let me cut this and then paste paste the uh, not pasting I will be using an object in and I'll grab the, the monkey plug this into this guy and call this a variable an object object dot location zero or location x now Suzanne now you can see if I'm moving the box this value doesn't change if I move Suzanne this value change we can actually monitor Suzanne and the box this way so yeah so this is actually really powerful um, kind of a little bit more advanced um, with expressions so but uh, maybe eventually you, you get into this eventually uh, you want to be able to use expression expression is like um, a single line of, of not sentence like okay uh, like snippet of script it's almost like a a sentence that's really really funny in a stand-up comedy I think but it does nothing until you provide a input or output so let's uh, let's do something with Suzanne now let's say with Su this Suzanne we if we want to control it using expression how do we do that perhaps we want to play around with the X location so you can write it like this or you can also write it location X like that and then you say new x value equal new x value and the value will be a float new x value oh that's mistype now this actually now Suzanne suddenly snapped because this value becoming zero if you use a float value we can now control Suzanne which is pretty nice pretty cool 
but the value itself is nothing much it's doing nothing much maybe we, we just change it into something else maybe call it time and we're gonna use a frame into time and then our time we just put it here now the frame is controlling Suzanne it's still too fast so you want the time to be times 0 0.1 now we have times controlling Suzanne with that value but Suzanne will just gonna leave out of the screen and we're gonna feel sad because Suzanne just left so maybe we use sign so Suzanne is gonna go back and forth and maybe a little bit bigger value the cool thing about this of course with expression inside animation nodes you can you can try maybe like a, this is like amplitude so we're gonna be using the amplitude value which is a float number currently it backs back to zero but you can use a number like um, let's just use float input for now so if we put in 20 Suzanne is gonna go back and forth between 20 this is like maximum 20 and then minus 20 which is uh, yeah quite nice as well you can make it faster and slower if this if you replace the 0 0.1 with different value and you can for example instead of location x you are using location y or you look at using location z so it's gonna go ups and down but you need to zero out the x and y and if you put the absolute into this value you're gonna get a bouncing ball yeah i'm not gonna i can change the scaling as well while it's bouncing ups and down and with the expression you can make it really really long if you say like okay let's let's make the object scale object scale z also changing based on the cosine of time yeah now it's a it's a little bit strange but i mean you can add a number so it's going to offset the value so suzanne will always have value of one on top of this um, maybe plus another value or maybe make it faster etc but you, you, you get the idea expression can be really long but it's only like a single line okay so that's a that's one it's almost like a, like I said it's almost like a like a good trick on the show but this is like the basic of procedurality um, an easier way like we have Z right and then we probably can can try rotating Suzanne so rotating is gonna be um, if you are using animation nodes and you want to rotate Suzanne you you need a Euler value so this value is going to be Euler and this Euler will have three value it's, it's four rotations and the rotation is depending on this XYZ Euler as well so we can say like okay Suzanne object rotation Euler is it going to be in X yes it's going to be um new rotation oh this shouldn't be like this okay now Suzanne will rotate if we put in 
if we, we, we put the time there but we are we are using nodes here uh, we want to keep expression simpler so new rotation should just be maybe time comma comma now it's gonna be doing the same thing it's a little bit fast maybe because the time needs to be um, radians or degrees yeah radians radians converted into degree now or yeah now it's starting to get a little bit confusing but uh but you that's you can do that with expression but uh don't forget also that animation nodes have script node and with script node you can do similar thing but it's just a little bit more complex where the expression and whatever codes um, with expression you only have single lines but with script node you can have multiple and then you can also have inputs and outputs and script is like on top of expression but sometimes you actually have expression inside a script node is so script is more like a uh, more advanced okay so with Suzanne now Suzanne can go ups and down bouncing yeah I think a good idea with all this value we can just change it into a variable so let's make another float and call it speed we just replace speed with a with a number so so you Suzanne can go bouncing ups and down slower or faster and you Suzanne can actually move forward um, let's actually do that it's more interesting this way so Suzanne X equal a number a number can be can be time for now it's gonna go disappear very very quickly make it 0, 0 0.01 or time location y instead equal time 0 0.1 so it's actually going backward so we can add a minus it's gonna go jumping and Eventually, Suzanne will disappear if I increase this frame number. So everything is procedural and it's driven, driven by, mostly driven by time and also some math formula. Um, this time itself now, now we can change this with a variable as well. So let me think. Okay, instead of time, maybe we have like a forward position. And I will make a new variable, call it float, call it forward positions. And this forward position can go backward, forward, depending on this value. So Susan can suddenly yeah move around freely in the in the y-axis and we can we can actually put like noise value here but sometimes you actually want to cheat and use a wiggle I see a uh, number wiggle number wiggle is like a noise for this forward positions and then time frame is still controlling everything goes into evolution now hopefully Suzanne will kind of move back and forth based on the noise if you if you time this correctly Suzanne will make a like a jump Suzanne will jump around um, Kind of more like in a timely manner so when it's make a jump it shouldn't goes like that it's gonna be like floaty like a balloon but if you time it properly it started to become alive 
let's say if you let's say if you're controlling Susan uh, the jump height and also the front and back based on time and you time it properly suddenly Susan head is gonna be jumping around so which is pretty cool and you can do that everything using expression so this nodes is um, you can use nodes still it's more visual but expression can do it um, kind of more more efficient sometimes so you can see okay in, in one single reading you can see everything okay so that's with uh, Suzanne and jumping head if I want to show you something that's a little bit more advanced it's the uh, where is it Susan animation postpones so this is this is uh, an expression basically this expression this expression gets the amateur objects and get all the postpones save it as a list the output itself should be actually a generic list so that should be like a list and Let me save this file, save as maybe I can also give you this one. After that, because the original armature is without the donuts, just like a bunch of bones. This is the edit mode, this is the the rest pose. The pose mode of the bone is doing this, almost like the centipede kind of legs. The object mode and the torus the donuts on the bones is looking something like this so the ex the expressions gets the all the, the list of the bones because we don't have nodes that's dealing with armature i mean we have armature info but armature info only grabbing the nodes positions and then give the output but we cannot control the post bones but we can do it using expression and this is the expressions um, kind of using the vector noise, random Euler. So what's really happening is that we grab the bones and then um, we are we are changing the position and the rotation of the bones. So we controlling controlling a lot of bones and kind of offsetting the bone position through this uh, loop. So there is a loop program. Slightly more advanced example. It's not that complicated. It's, it's really just like a like a play of um, numbers. Just plugging the noise. Um, basically creating some random noise and then plug it as a Euler. And then we have uh, also this circle offset that's uh, kind of offsetting our bones position using a circle so that's why we have spiral and everything is still procedural which is a uh, very interesting so we kind of like a chain link um, and this guy is controlling the rotation so we instead of vector noise we can perhaps just use a just do the rotation or something so time goes into the math But we need to have a uh, multiple value. I forgot. That's why this Euler list is needed. Okay, now it seems to be stop working, but yeah. Yeah, this, this is supposed to be like a chain link controlled by procedural animations but originally the expression is only controlling the, it's only grabbing the post bones but the expression itself can actually um, summarize all of these calculations into a single line if you like but this is probably easier 
and this is still only the basic example um, in in term of what you can really do so I'm not like super genius in in term of um, turning it into like a more like a game kind of behaviors but you can do that using animation nodes as well it's just the logic and etc it's it gets really complex at at that point um, it's just another different world but expression itself is very powerful so a single node with just a single line of text that you can you can put in like python script um, and then you can also get you um, take use of this uh, variable inputs and you can have an output normally just a single output that's one thing to understand and to know all right thanks again i guess that's all for this episode thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye